Hey everybody, this is the last tutorial that I'll cover um, going over Volume Builder and Cloner. And for this one, I want to show you how I use them together, which can be really, really helpful. Um, so let's go into it. Let's first start by grabbing an object. I'm going to grab this, um, I'm going to grab this capsule and I'm going to increase rotation like 72, make it a smoother object. And also maybe the height segments I'll increase as well and the cap C segments on increase. So it's nice and smooth all the way around. And then what I want to do with this is I'll bring in a cloner and then I'm going to grab a, actually a radial cloner. Okay. And then finally another object. Let's see. I guess I'll just use a cylinder and I'm going to scale this down so it's small. Okay. And then I'm going to put it over here a little bit. So what I want to do is I'll make a bunch of cuts in this, kind of like little cylindrical cuts, and I want it to wrap around. So take the cylinder, put in the cloner. Uh, already it's looking like it's pretty good. I'm going to increase the count a little bit, make a few more of these. That looks pretty good. Okay, and then let's go into the volume builder. So volume builder, grab this. Let's drop in the capsule and the cloner okay and then don't forget let's go to the volume builder and reduce the voxel size down to one okay this is looking good so we've got these linked objects great we go into the volume builder and subtract the cloner from the capsule okay and there you go i've got this really great kind of like strange uh indentation which would be really hard to do modeling wise but now it's super simple which is awesome. Uh, further, you know, maybe I'll take another, um, actually, let's take a cone. Let's do this. I'll take a cone and I'm going to reduce it down. I'm going to show you guys a little bit about the cone for a second. The cone is cool because you can um, change it a little bit. So here we have top radius zero, bottom radius. You can make the top radius less than or greater than zero, right? So that'll open that up. So it gives you this kind of like, you know, cone shape. Don't forget the caps. You can um, uh, have, uh, let's see, cap segments. You can change that. Um, and then you can also slice. So we could slice half of it if we wanted to. Anyway, cone's got a lot of options. For this though, what I want to do is just simply, um, I don't want to slice it. Uh, place this inside of the object to create like a negative uh, kind of like a coned negative space Which could be kind of interesting. So I'm going to reduce this down. I'm gonna to go to my top menu so I can see exactly where I am um, I'm gonna turn off the volume builder so I can see it One thing I don't like about volume builder is you can't see the mesh when you're working and it's on uh, Anyway cones here. Let's see how this lines up Okay, it's lined up pretty good. I'm gonna make everything zero and then I'm going to reduce this radius down here a little bit, which is good. And let's go back to all of our menu. Okay, I'll make the top radius a little less as well. There we go. So now I'll take this, turn back on the volume builder and I will put it inside. And then I will reduce this from, uh, subtract it from the section. All right, so there you go, I've got this oh look at that it's sticking out of the top now this is because cone is not tall enough so i'll make this cone a little bit taller on the height and that up a little higher there we go okay so now i've got this object i'm going to make it actually a little bit wider so it starts to cut in a little bit that's kind of interesting okay so there you go now i've got this object uh, that cuts through the middle it's got these interesting intricate cuts the last thing I'll do with this then is um, add the smooth section to it and look at what it does. It makes this really kind of interesting section to it, right? Almost like a, like a lattice kind of form. Um, and then, you know, again, last step is to go to the volume measure and we'll bring this inside of there and uh, get this really interesting, intricate form, right? So again, Combination here, we have Volume Builder, we have Cloner. Cloner's cool because at any time, remember, you can change things. I could reduce the count if I wanted to and totally change the object, right? So there you go. Uh, okay, so combination, Volume Mesher, 
I'm sorry, volume builder and cloner together make really intricate objects and a great way to do complex modeling. 